earlier, it really is a lot like a blade, right? Uh, the, a couple of differences, it doesn't have mezzanine I.O. Right, so the I.O., as, as Mark described, the I.O. is off in those, in those cabinets. Uh, but, but here are the processors. That's one uh, Montvale processor. It's a four processor socket. This is the cell controller. So you can you can almost visualize the, its interfaces. So it has it has uh, a memory interface coming out one side of it. It has two processor interfaces, and then out the back of it, it has the connection to the to the Rio to the I/O chip that's out in those I/O cabinets. And that's that's pretty much it. You know, so CPUs, lots of DIMMs, 32 DIMMs per cell. It's like a blade. Just bigger. Any questions? Yeah, I see that's a, a mini multi-layer board that you have there. Yes, it is, and I don't know how many layers. Do you know how, how the, the card? I can't remember. I want to say it's more than... I think it's more than eight. That's quite a few layers. I think it is. It might be eight signal layers and then a whole bunch of power and ground, but I, I can't remember to tell you the truth. And, and it was clocking in <laughs> roughly a gigahertz and a half, one half, about 1,500 megahertz. The processors are, uh, are 1.6, so 1 1,600 6. Montvales. And then the uh, memory interface is 533. So, did you point out the uh, separation of the power from the cell? I did not. You want to do that? Yeah, yeah. So, for those of you guys that, that you know, we can talk about the cell board here. This is the main uh, brains of the cell board. There's also a, another module that plugs in the front, which is completely separate, uh, separate from the cell board, but it applies all the power to this individual unit. Now, early on in the um, in the Superdome design, it was, and you know our support teams would pick this board up and say, you know, five foot two support technician picking up this 36 pound cell board, you know, it's heavy, <laughs> and uh, plus it was so large that you know we had some challenges with yields in that, so they decided to break the board into two pieces and put the power in the front, make that removable separately, so you would actually take the power unit out of the rack first, and then you could pull the cell board out. Whereas in the in the initial design, you would take the entire cell board out that far, <laughs> and, it would and I, I, get, I got guns from doing that. <laughs> and so, so now it's a two-part design, and that was a, a nice improvement actually. Are the pieces replaceable separately? Yes. Yes. We can take out the power to the die. Absolutely. Absolutely. Without even removing the cell board.